This is Southworks. It's a mostly vacant 600 acre site on Chicago's far southeast side, and it was once home to a steel mill that employed over 20,000 people. But when the mill closed in the early 90s, it left economic devastation in its wake, and a series of redevelopment proposals would follow. The most recent of which is a proposed quantum computing hub, which could be the largest in the United States. But how did Southworks go from thriving mill to a massive scar on Chicago's lakefront? And could quantum computing finally be the thing that brings Southworks back to its former glory? Let's take a deeper dive into the past and future of Southworks. The story of Chicago Southworks is a story of industrial decay all too common in the American Rust Belt. Chicago was built on the back of heavy industry, like railroads, meatpacking, manufacturing, and of course, steel. The Southworks facility opened in 1882 at the apex of Chicago's industrial prominence. Its location at the mouth of the Calumet River on Lake Michigan's shoreline allowed for easy delivery of large quantities of raw materials, like iron ore and coal via Great Lakes freighters. Southworks and the region as a whole would quickly emerge as one of the world's greatest steel producing hubs. By the 1900s, Southworks was acquired by U.S. Steel, and the plant grew to eventually encompass 575 acres. At its peak in the 1950s and 60s, the mill employed up to 20,000 people. But by the 1970s, the American steel industry would undergo a sharp decline, and Southworks would see a slow but steady reduction in workforce. Finally, in 1991, the plant would close for good, and it would leave a 600-acre hole in the fabric of South Chicago. For 10 years, Southworks sat empty. But in 2002, the Chicago Parks District would acquire a 16-acre portion of the site for a park. Known as Steelworkers Park, it embraced the site's post-industrial heritage, incorporating its disused equipment and structures, including repurposing large concrete walls, once used for unloading ore, for rock climbing. Twelve years later, in 2014, the Parks District would acquire another parcel, creating Park 566, which remains a sparsely developed natural area. But still, the vast majority of Southworks would remain empty, while other development plans came and went. The first of these grand ambitions for the site was called the Chicago Lakeside Development. It was a venture proposed by U.S. Steel, who partnered with a real estate developer to propose essentially a brand new neighborhood, with 13,500 new units of housing, as well as commercial and retail space and a marina. But the project stagnated and never could get off the ground. U.S. Steel would then sell the site to a new developer, and a second attempt at redevelopment began in 2017. This time, the plan was called New Southworks. Plans included 20,000 homes, all modular and organized around Barcelona-style superblocks. But New Southworks would also fail to materialize, and Southworks' future, once again, was uncertain. In the summer of 2024, the latest plan for Southworks was unveiled. Dubbed the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park, it's an ambitious vision for a massive high-tech campus dedicated to quantum computing. But what exactly is quantum computing? If you're looking for an in-depth technical explanation, this is the wrong video. But in simple terms, quantum computing uses quantum mechanical principles to perform computations in a way that could be exponentially faster than modern classical computers. The technology could potentially revolutionize the computing world, but it's still unproven at scale. And in order to develop further, it requires massive upfront investment in highly specialized facilities. The Southworks campus would provide space for the exploration and development of this technology. It will be anchored by a Silicon Valley company called SciQuantum. They aim to develop a 300,000 square foot facility where they can attempt to build what they call the first utility scale fault tolerant quantum computer in the United States. SciQuantum will also be joined by the Department of Defense, who intends on operating a so-called quantum proving ground on the site. 
as well as IBM, who recently also announced plans for a facility on the campus. The campus will be developed by Related Midwest, a company involved in another huge Chicago project, the proposed 78 mega development in the South Loop. Renderings for the Quantum Hub from architect Lamar Johnson Collaborative show a campus occupying a large portion of the site, with a dozen or so low-rise office buildings, which will house researchers, as well as a few larger buildings, presumably to host the infrastructure required for quantum computing, including a cryogenic facility. As of late 2024, the development plans are going through city approvals, and Related expects to start construction on the first phase by early 2025. But there are still open questions and concerns from community members, like the environmental impacts of the facilities, and how many jobs could it actually provide? How many of those jobs will be accessible to everyday Chicagoans? And will it be able to attract the highly skilled workers that will be essential to its success? But the ultimate question lies with quantum computing itself. Is it really the future, or is it just hype? If the technology delivers on its promises, the Southworks campus could position Chicago as a major nexus of a vitally important new industry. Chicago already boasts world-class research talent, but it's never come close to being a major tech hub akin to Silicon Valley. Boosters hope that the quantum campus could change that. And if so, Southworks, the relic of the city's industrial past, would be born once again as a center of a prosperous new economy on the ashes of the old. That's the hope anyway. But to make that a reality, this storied site on Chicago's far southeast side still has a long way to go.